Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Our today's lecture is on one of the concept of uh, coordinate uh, geometry that is distance formula. Distance formula is basically used in coordinate geometry which deals with the study of geometrical shapes in a Cartesian plane with the help of ordered pairs. Okay. So we will today discuss how you can find the proof of a distance formula that is used to find the distance between the two points in a coordinate plane. Let's start with the assumptions as let A x1 y1 and B x2 y2 be the two points in the coordinate plane. As we have to find the distance between the two points, so we must consider the two points. Be the two points in coordinate plane. Okay. Let's pl plot these points in the coordinate plane. We can take these points anywhere. So we'll take the one point here and one point here. So this will be B, X, 2, Y, 2. So these are the two points in the coordinate plane between which we are going to find the distance. Okay. So we have, as we have to find the, um, the proof of the distance formula. So we'll derive the distance formula by taking these two points. So first we will find the length of the line segment will join the point as like this. Now it becomes a line segment. So we'll write the length of the line segment. This line segment is AB. We'll write AB is equals to D. That is actually the distance that we are going to find. Our main purpose of this proof is to find the formula that will give you with the distance. So we have to find this D. That is the distance between the point A and B in the coordinate plane. So, in order to find the distance, we make use of the uh, of the Pythagoras theorem for that purpose. You can also say that distance formula is the application of the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so we use Pythagoras theorem uh, in order to find the distance. Uh, as uh, Pythagoras as Pythagoras theorem is used. For the, um, you know, for the right angle triangle, so we have to make a right angle triangle like in a way by joining these points like this. So we have got another point that is C here. Okay. So we have got a triangle that is ACB. So in a right angle triangle ACB, we have, so in a right angle triangle ACB, we have the hypotenuse base and the perpendicular side. So the hypotenuse, <coughs> so the hypotenuse here is AB that is D. This is the distance that we have to find and AC and BC are the remaining two sides. Now how we can find the side AC and BC? For finding the side AC, we can say that this point A and this point C these points can be written as AC is equals to as this is the distance. So AC is equals to X2 minus X1. How we get this X2 minus X1? As C has the same X as the B. Okay. So we can say that its X coordinate is the same as B. So we can write as X2 and its Y coordinate is the same as the Y coordinate of A. So it will be x2, y1. Okay. So we can say that the distance AC could be x2 minus x1. The x part can be written as x2 minus x1. Okay. Then the BC, what will be the BC? As for right angle triangle, we must know AC and BC so that we can find the distance AB. That is the hypotenuse. So BC can be found similarly as in BC, we have the same X2, but the Y is different. Okay. So we will consider the thing that is different. So we will take BC as Y2 minus Y1. So these are the two uh, values of the sides AC and BC and one left that is AB. That is the distance that we, that is the distance, distance that we are actually going to drive. Now here we have to make use of the Pythagoras theorem. As we have got all the things that are required for the Pythagoras theorem. And the Pythagoras theorem is basically applied on a right angle triangle. Okay. So using Pythagoras theorem, what we will get? Let's see. 
As according to the Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equals to the square of base plus perpendicular square. Okay, so this is the um, formula of the Pythagoras theorem. So, but we have in the uh, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the d. That is the distance that we have to find. So we will put the value of d as d square is equals to what is the base? We have already find the base AC. That is x2 minus x1. So we'll write x2 minus x1 whole square plus what is the perpendicular we have already find bc bc is y2 minus y1 so we'll write as y2 minus y1 whole square okay now we have to as we have to find the d so we have to uh, to uh, free up the d from the square for that purpose taking square root on both both sides what we will get we have to take the square root then it will be like this and the value comes out d is equals to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so this is the formula of the distance and when we remove the the square root you will get the two values plus and minus so as the distance is always greater than zero so we ignore the minus and we will only consider the positive values Okay, so distance will be under root x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this is the formula of distance that we have derived. So this is how you can uh, uh, find, uh, you can derive the distance formula by considering the two points in the coordinate plane and then um, uh, then uh, uh, drawing them in a way to make them a right angle triangle and using the Pythagoras theorem as distance formula is the application of the Pythagoras theorem. So we can write the distance formula clearly here as d is equals to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay, so this uh, was all about how you can drive a distance formula that will be used to find the distance between the two points in a coordinate plane. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.